Hello, I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin, BurbankDentalImplants.com. And the topic today is how long do implants take in general? It's a, it's a really common question. There's a lot of confusion about how long does the process take. Well, it's different. It's different for each patient. It's different for each area of the mouth, front, back, top, bottom. Uh, so let's kind of review a few things because you hear the commercials, you hear things, oh, it can be done in a day and, oh, it takes two years to do. Well, all of that's right. It takes one day. It takes two years. It, again, it depends. So let's cover just a few basic things. This is a follow-up video also to one I made probably about eight years ago that still gets a lot of questions on it. So let's get some updates here. Not a lot has changed to, to some degree. Um, so let's talk about immediacy. How long can it take? So it, it, again, it depends. So if you're having a single implant done somewhere in the front of the mouth, then it's very likely that you can have a same-day tooth put on there. Keep in mind that most same-day dental implants are temporaries that are put on the implants, not the final. Um, typically, the gum takes some time to heal up, and you really don't want to put the final on right away because the gum is going to change a bit. Uh, swelling is going to go down, and it's far better to, to wear some sort of a temporary, we call provisional in dentistry, for some period of time while the implant fully integrates. So you're never walking around without a tooth. So immediate teeth means you have something cosmetic, something you can look good. You can eat you know, on the opposite side or soft foods if you're having full arch top and bottom done. So one tooth in the front, very simple. Um, almost all the time I can make a tooth on the same, on the same appointment um, and it looks great. The other time where we can do it very quickly is when it's full arch, including upper jaw as well. So on the, if, if we're doing all the lower or all the upper, and I want to have uh, immediate loading or immediate teeth, the same day teeth, next day teeth, within 24 hours basically, as long as all the implants are connected to one each other, it's kind of strength in numbers. Uh, it's much more simple to do on the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw has harder bone. Any area where the bone is harder, the implants go in tighter, so they tend to heal a bit faster and they're not wobbly because of the soft bone. So in my practice it's very rare that a patient will have a full lower arch without having teeth made immediately by within 24 hours or less. Uh, on the top jaw where, where things become a little bit more challenging is the top jaw is kind of hollow. There's sinuses up in here and the bone naturally is soft. It's kind of like styrofoam in, in some areas. It's almost so you can squeeze it a bit. So on the top jaw, the, you've got to be a little bit more careful. Uh, the bite has to be right on in order to do this. And sometimes we'll play, zygoma I'll play zygomatic implants into the cheekbone, which is a lot harder to be able to give somebody a complete set of upper teeth all on the same, all on the same day. Remember, the bone is soft and hollow. Where, where things take time, um, are, are the areas where you have one or two or three implants in the molar region. Those typically do take more time, especially one implant in the molar region, especially on the top jaw where the bone is hollow, may need a sinus lift. Anywhere where there's bone grafting being done, uh, typically uh, immediate loading may not be done. Immediate loading can be done at the same time when you have a bone graft, as long as the bone graft is just kind of, you know, adding to the outside of the implant, not necessarily supporting. You can't put, you know, a cement down, put a post into it, and then expect it to hold a house up. But you could pad a few walls around the side in order to give it more support. So you can have same-day teeth, same-day extraction, same-day bone graft, same-day everything. But remember, you're going to wear temporary, and the rules are different. And again, you need to work with a very experienced provider that understands these nuances that you don't have a big failure. In fact, about 35% of what I do nowadays is redo implant dentistry. Um, so back to uh, back to the segments, which are probably the most common areas to talk about. So the sinus, the lower molars, those are best done over time. Although the molar might be able to be removed and the molar put back in, the implant put in, it's generally not advisable to put a tooth on the implant on the same day. The bite's very strong. And when you when and you when you bite up against only one implant on a back tooth, there's there's no other helpers, there's no other implants to help support it. 
and that can cause failure. Just like somebody had a broken arm, if you had a broken arm, you're wearing a cast, you wouldn't want to stress the cast at all uh, by you know picking up grocery bags with you. You just want to let it heal. So again, it's, it's kind of strength in numbers. The lower jaw tends to go a little bit faster, especially if there's multiple implants that could be connected to one another. Upper jaw, as long as the implants are connected to each other, can be done as well. Zygomatic implants, which go into the cheekbone, can speed that up. Anywhere where you have a single tooth situation towards the back, it, it may be better just to wait the typical you know, four to six months of healing uh, and then have the tooth put on later. Uh, so those are some of the basics to discuss. Um, I know there's probably a lot of questions and concerns, so please, uh, please ask questions. I try to get to these as soon as I can, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.